Which vein is often the preferred site for peripheral IV cannulation? Your options Radial vein Femoral vein Jugular vein or median cubital vein The correct answer is Median cubital vein The median cubital vein located in the anti-cubital fossa is commonly chosen for peripheral IV access. Question number 2 Which complication can arise from inserting an IV cannula to deep? Your options Phlebitis Infiltration Hematoma or Thrombosis The correct answer is Hematoma uh, inserting cannula to deep can cause damage to blood vessels that leads to the formation of hematoma. Question number third. What is the purpose of using saline lock, also known as a heparin lock in IV therapy? Your options. To secure the cannula in place. To monitor blood return. To prevent infection or to maintain patency without continuous fluid infusion. The correct answer is to maintain patency, continuous fluid infusion. A saline lock is used to keep the IV catheter open without the need of continuous fluid administration. Question number 4. Dear friends, welcome to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. And today you are attending 20 most important and most repeated MCQs on IV cannula. So do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question based on IV cannula. And at the end, if you find this video helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 4. What is the purpose of a flashback chamber in an IV cannula? Your options. To secure the cannula in place. To monitor blood return. To measure the flow rate or to prevent infection the correct answer is to monitor blood return the flashback chambers allows healthcare providers to confirm proper needle placement by observing blood return question number fifth what does the term gauge refer to in the context of iv cannulas your options length of the cannula diameter of the cannula number of openings in the cannula or material of the cannula the correct answer is diameter of the cannula the gauge of an IV cannula indicates the diameter of the needle a lower gauge number corresponds to a larger diameter. Now, question number 6. What is the purpose of a heparin lock in IV therapy? Your options. To prevent blood clotting in the cannula. To measure the blood pressure. To secure the cannula in place. Or to administer pain medication. The correct answer is to prevent blood clotting in the cannula. The heparin locks are used to maintain patency and prevent blood clot formation in IV catheters. Question number 8. What should be done if infiltration is suspected during IV therapy? Your options. Apply heat to the site. Elevate the limb, restart the IV at the same time or remove the IV cannula and restart at a different site. The correct answer is remove the IV cannula and restart at a different site. 
Infiltration occurs when fluid leaks into the surrounding tissues. Okay, that time removing the cannula and choosing a new site is necessary. Question number nine: Which of the following is a potential complication of rapid IV infusion? Your options: hypertension, hypovolemia, hypotension, or or bradycardia. The correct answer is hypotension. Rapid IV infusion can lead to a sudden drop in blood pressure. Okay, that is known as hypotension. Question number ten: What is the purpose of using saline lock, also known as a heparin lock, in IV therapy? Your options: to secure the cannula in place, to monitor blood return, to prevent infection, or to maintain patency without continuous fluid infusion. The correct answer is to maintain patency, continuous fluid infusion. A saline lock is used to keep the IV catheter open without the need of continuous fluid administration. Okay. Question number eleven. In which angle is the recommended insertion for an IV cannula to enter the vein? Your options: thirty degrees, forty-five degrees. 60 degrees or 90 degrees 45 degrees inserting the iv cannula at a 45 degree angle allows for optimal vein entry question number 12 what is the purpose of a butterfly or a winged infusion set in iv cannulation the options rapid fluid administration blood collection subcutaneous injections the right answer is pediatric iv access the butterfly needles are often used for pediatric patients and individuals with delicate veins question number 13 which of the following is a potential complication of Phlebitis related to IV cannulation. Your options: nausea, fever, headache, or joint pain. The right answer is fever. Phlebitis inflammation of the vein may manifest with symptoms such as fever. Okay. Question number fourteen. What is the purpose of a transparent dressing over an IV site? The options to provides insulation, allows visualization of the site, to prevents infiltration or enhance comfort. The correct answer is to allows visualization of the site. Transparent dressings allow healthcare providers to monitor the IV site for complication without removing the dressing. Question number fifteen: Which vein is commonly used for central venous catheterization? The options: basilic vein, cephalic vein, subclavian vein. or brachial vein the correct answer is subclavian vein the subclavian vein is frequently chosen for central venous catheterization question number 16 what is the primary function of an iv pump in infusion therapy the options to measure blood pressure to controls to control the flow rate of iv fluids monitoring heart rate or to secure the cannula in place the correct answer is controls the flow rate of iv fluids 
The IV pumps regulate the rate at which fluids and medication are infused that ensure accurate and controlled delivery. Question number 17. What is the most appropriate action if a patient complains of pain at the IV site during infusion? The options Apply a warm compress Administer pain medication through the IV Check for infiltration or phlebitis or Ignore the complaint as it is common The correct answer is Check for infiltration or phlebitis. The pain at the IV site may indicate infiltration or inflammation and a prompt assessment is necessary at that situation. Question number 18. What technique should be used when flushing an IV cannula to maintain patency? The options. Rapid and forceful flush. Gentle and slow flush no need for flushing or alternating hot and cold flush adenu. The correct answer is gentle and slow flush. Flushing the IV cannula with a gentle slow flow helps to maintain patency without causing any damage. Question number 19. What is the purpose of a turn quit during IV cannulation? The options to anchor the cannula, to prevent infiltration, to dilate the vein, or to monitor blood return. Answer is to dilate the vein. A turn quit is used to make veins more visible and accessible for cannulation by causing venous dilation. Question number 20. Which type of solution is commonly used as a flush solution for IV cannulas? The options Normal saline, dextrose 5%, lactated ringers, or hydrogen peroxide. The correct answer is a normal saline. Normal saline is the preferred solution for flushing IV cannulas due to its compatibility with blood. Dear friends, it's the time to comment your score out of 20. So let us see what is your score out of 20. Please comment your score. And if the video was helpful, then please comment your view on this video. And do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel, our videos. So thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams.